Hello again. In this, once again, this is lesson 1.17, part 2. Now, in the last lesson, I told you, relax, forget everything I told you. It was a lot of information. You needed to relax. But now, it's time to remember. So, here's a quick review. Key. Huh? Key. One key. Keys. Keys. Many keys. A key. This is a key. This is a key. This is a key. Huh? And here I have, do I have five, six, seven, eight, nine? I don't know. So here I have some keys. But this is the key to my car. Meep, meep. Huh? The key to my car. Here again we have apples. Uh, these are pretty sad looking apples by now, but okay. Apple, apples. This is an apple. This is an apple. Much better condition. This, however, oh, ex excuse me. I have four apples, five, six, I don't know. I have some apples. I have some apples. But this apple, this this beautiful apple, is the apple. This is the apple with my name written on it. Huh? Okay. So in any case, that's a quick review. A, an, some, the, and how to make a noun plural. Well, let's take a look together at the exercises, the, the activities in Lesson 1.17, and we'll see if we can put these to use in forming complete sentences. So, here we go. Okay, so here we are in Lesson 1.17, and um, here's the video we already watched. Here is the video you're watching right now. And um, in this section, it says you're supposed to listen, and so you, you'll do that. You listen. So you listen, and I, I will say the, uh, the words corresponding to the pictures. Here we're making words that are singular, nouns that are singular, making them plural. So going from one to two, three, four, five, etc. Here we go. Uh, this is, we'll say this is the meal, the specific meal. The meal, the meals. The breakfast, the breakfasts. The lunch, the lunches. The dinner, the dinners. The hamburger, the hamburgers, the pizza, the pizzas, the ice cream cone, the ice cream cones, which should always be plural by the way, they're so good, the dog, the dogs, the cat, the cats. Okay, let me hear you try to say those now. Um, I'll say the, the singular, you say the plural. So I will say the first, you will say the second. Okay, then I will say the third, right there, and you will say the fourth, right there. Okay, we'll continue like that. Here we go. The meal, the meals, uh huh. The breakfast, the breakfasts. It's hard to say. The lunch. Okay, here you have to say lunches. Just like, remember, watch, um, watch, we say, I watch, you watch, but he watches. Huh? Uh, in the same way, we can't say uh, lunches. We have to add an extra syllable, lunches. So the lunches, okay? The dinner, the dinners, good. The hamburger. The hamburgers, okay? The pizza. The pizzas, uh huh? The ice cream cone. That's, that's a long expression. The ice cream cones, uh huh? The, this is easy. The dog. The dogs, uh huh? The cat. The cats, okay? So that's making a, a noun plural for the most part, and we're using the definite article. In this section right here, you have the verb 
prepare, prepare, and you know the different conjugations. If you want to, you can click and you can listen to the, the, the conjugations, the forms, but I think you know them. What's this? You would say, right, I prepare. I'm not sure if I click if I'll hear anything. Yo preparo. Oh, I, I heard Spanish. I'm sorry. I prepare. <laughs> and so this is you prepare. He prepares, right? She prepares. And then, of course, you prepare. Okay? So in any case, let's try to form these complete sentences right now. This is she prepares. And then what was this expression? Do you remember? This was the meal. So say the sentence. Say, say the sentence. She prepares the meal. She prepares the meal. This is the plural, the meals. Say this sentence. Go ahead. You prepare the meals. Okay, next. Ah, now this picture means a, uh, or it's one, two, three, four, one, but we would say a uh, before a noun in most cases. So this is going to be, this word, this word was meal, meal. Uh-huh. I prepare a meal. Very good. Uh, this is the number three. This is three. So, go ahead, say it. You prepare three meals. Uh, three meals. And then last of all, in this series, now this picture right here, it's a pretty wild looking picture, means we don't know how many meals. It could be five, it could be eight, it could be 12. We don't know. So we say, what was that word? Some, okay? So say this sentence. He prepares some meals. Because there's more than one. There are two or three or four. We don't know how many. Huh? Good. Next section. Let's uh let's skip past the breakfast and go to something a little not directly related to food. Actually I take it back. Let's go back to dinner. We'll do dinner together right here. Um here we have dinner. Dinner or the dinner. Okay, so how would you say this sentence? You prepare the dinner. Okay? What's this? She prepares the dinners because there's more than one. Uh, maybe she prepares three or four or five dinners each week. We don't know. Next, what's this? Now this is just a dinner. You prepare a dinner. Very good. Right here, seven. That means one every night, one every night of the week. Go ahead, say it. I prepare seven dinners. Okay, maybe it's for seven people, I don't know. And then last of all, this is just a general unknown quantity. How do you say this? He prepares some dinners. He prepares some dinners and he doesn't prepare others, I suppose. Okay, let's go down now past food and we'll take some examples uh, with another verb. This is the verb like. The verb like. Okay, like. Um, and I realized in the last section I was saying prepare. Well, maybe it was. Maybe it was. I'm not sure. Okay, this is like in any case. Like. Um, so I like, you like, he likes, she likes, you like. Okay, here we have dog. The dog. Okay, say the sentence. Go ahead, say it. You like the dog. Good. Try this. He likes the dogs. More than one. Maybe two or three or four. He likes the dogs. Next, this is just one dog. So, say it. She likes a dog. She likes a dog. Right here, this is two of them. I like two dogs. <laughs> I like two dogs. 
the sentence isn't necessarily very profound, but let's move on. This is just... Go ahead, say it. You like some dogs. You like some dogs, and you don't like other dogs, I suppose. Let's do one more series with cat. 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 How would you say this? This is still like her. Huh? I like the cat. I like the cat. Okay? This is cats. You like the cats. Uh huh. Try this, just one cat, okay? You like a cat. You like a cat. Okay? A good cat now and then. Now and again. Here we have cats. There we go. She likes three cats. And last of all, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four. He likes some cats, but he doesn't like others, I suppose. Okay. So that's an example of the kinds of activities you're going to do. Um, uh, in uh, this lesson 1.17. Um, at the very end, you'll come to a PowerPoint presentation in the form of a video. In fact, you already can see it here. I'll click on it and we'll see if we can follow along for a little while. Here we have some meals. The breakfasts. The breakfast, singular. Some breakfasts. The lunch. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 an ice cream cone, there it is. Three breakfasts. The meals. A hamburger. The dinners. Just a couple more here. Some dinners. The, uh, this is the lunches. Three meals, etc. You'll see that this uh, ac activity, this is some pizzas, will go faster and faster and faster as time goes by. So. Um, uh, you'll need to probably practice it several times. Well, that's all for this lesson, Lesson 1.17b. Now it's for you to work on the uh, statements, the sentences, and then the PowerPoint. And I'll see you in Lesson 118, in which I'll be presenting some new verbs to you. I'll see you then. Goodbye.